come on out to Brown Mountain Bottle Works at 115 East Union Street in Morganton, North Carolina. The place to be for great craft beer. Browse their shelves filled with hundreds of craft beer selections. Relax and enjoy one of their eight draft taps. Show your love for the store with their logo t-shirts, hats, and glassware. Want to see what they have in stock 24 hours a day? Check out their website at www.brownmountainbottleworks.com. We'll see you there. Hi, I'm Glenn. This is Dave. We're NC Beer Guys. We promote NC Craft Beer online at ncbeerguys.com. We do these videos to introduce you to some of the great beers available across the state. Maybe introduce you to a new brewer, a new brewery, or you just never know what we might decide to talk about. But today, we're going to talk about a Wicked Week Brewing Taki Taki. A New Zealand hot bread saison made with local Riverbend Malt House Malt and Wicked Week's yeah. own house brick string. There you go, so it's really local. So many of you know the work we story by now. In 2009, Walt and Luke Dickerson sat down at the craft beer bar and talked about the dream of opening their own brewery that would focus on big West Coast hoppy ales and authentic Belgians. From that conversation involved a business plan, test batches, brewed, and in 2011, Walt and Luke's friend, Ryan, and his parents sat down to discuss some and taste some of Luke and Walt's creations while looking over the plans for what would become Wicked Weed Brewing. The Guthies joined the Dickinsons and the team was assembled. Wicked Weed planned for their beer to be quote, bold, full of excitement and flavor, always focused on drinkability and pushing the boundaries of what they think we are capable of. <laughs> Wicked Weed aspire to expand consumer perspectives of craft beer. Quote, we will always push to be better brewers, make better beer and keep our patrons' attention. So the Taki Taki, Originally released in 2014 as part of the Terra Local series, uh, has become a regular now in the bottle lineup. In Maori, the, the word for home is Taki Taki. So for Wiki Wee, home means Asheville. So to pay homage, proper homage, they brewed this Brett Saison with homegrown Riverbend Malt, homegrown in Asheville, where Riverbend Malt House is, and a myriad of New Zealand hops that offer up tropical aromatics and flavors while the local malt and house brick lend weight and balance to the brew. These ingredients result in an incredibly citrusy and bright beer, hot forward with a balance of spice from the yeast. Taki Taki can be enjoyed fresh for the grapefruit and orange flavors of the hops or laid down and aged, of course, is what he's saying, to let the funkiness develop. Okay. That's another bad pour. I know. I'm, you're off your poor, my weeks are screwed you're up. You're off now. your poor game today. Yeah, I did a bad one. I get but but now this now you look at this substantial and the lace and that head, that is a a textbook yeah. head is too much on a pour. I'm not saying it looks mm. exactly like it looks, well, but know. for a head on a beer it's perfectly bubbled and lacing like crazy. The cement symmetry is it's just this beautiful head, just too much on that beer. Yeah, I do. So I'll get in mind. So, we're gonna look for grapefruit and orange flavors. Okay. Coming from the hops, not from anything else. And I don't know how long you've had this beer. We've had it for a little while. Not long. Okay, so it's not aged out funkiness other than, no. it's not an aged situation for us at no, least. No, 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 no. And this is the 2015 series, not the 2014 series. So yeah, no, it's not that, absolutely. I'll just make sure you haven't aged it for a year or drinking no, last year's no, version. No, no, no. I did not do that. I was a good boy. Well, last year it would have been fine if we did sell it. Well, but it They say. Okay. It would have been different somewhat, I suspect. Right, but it would have been sitting for a while. So it's a want, fairly recent you purchase. Don't want, you don't want anything that is hop forward to be sitting for a long time, believe me. You know? Well, but I'm not sure in the, in the bread. I'm not sure in this one it would have mattered. Oh. It could have just got more funky. Oh, we, yeah, we're not but, sure about that one. What, it's, what they say. Okay. Okay. They, they know better than I do. And we can't drink a Wicked Weed brew without talking about the artwork and the label. I mean, half the Wicked Weed experience is just... Oh, looking at the uniqueness of the label. They do such, such great things mm -hmm. with their bottling. Oh, yeah. And it's always just a, a real adventure just to sit there while you're drinking and, and read the freaking bottle. Yeah. And oh, yeah. see what it's all about. Yep. 
But of course, the important part is what it tastes like. That's right. So let's get I'll, to I'll, it. I'll break through this you, thing. You mustache that foam out of the way. <laughs> Wonderful citrusy aroma. And some sourness coming through, but not like you might, you know, who knows what it's going to be. It's, it's mm. mostly, there's some tropicalness coming through. Mm hmm. I mean, you're pretty tough. Oh, this is good. Is it good? Um, it's not my style. If I said that, I was surprised. I am a little surprised that I personally like it. We're learning to appreciate some things that we don't go to personally in style. And I'm not a big uh, farmhouse ale, sour, saison, mm. any of that crowd fan. Wow. But this is very appealing to oh, me. Oh, yeah. And I, it's the grapefruitness, I guess. The citrusy is just so refreshing. Oh, I know. And it's, it's not bitter. It's, it's nice oh, and not smooth. A bit. <laughs> not a bit oh, bitter. It's beautiful. Okay, I'm all full of <laughs> foam. But, and I think... I, I think it's aged just perfectly. Mm -hmm. I, I like the uh, the breadthness, the sourness of it that's got there, but it's not overly so, even for me. Okay. This is, this is excellent. I could, and honestly, I'm a little surprised that I like it as much as I do. Oh yeah, it's wonderful. I mean, the simplicity mm -hmm. of a farmhouse ale slash Saison, and then you add the hops to it and you get this nice citrusy uh, flavor. And the wonderful aroma. Without, for my benefit, the hot bitterness. Right. There, there's no bitterness to this. And I, that's yep. what I think so appeals to me. Yep. But it's got, a, I don't know if it lists on the bottle, it, uh, some of the research I did, I didn't read it, but it's got several hops. And well, it's, it's got, got a low hop. Nelson Savan, okay. Pacific Gem, Jade, and uh, Wakatua. Wakatua. So it's not a low hop profile, but you no. would, you wouldn't know it to drink it. It's, it's aged perfectly. Yeah, they're, they're New, New Zealand hops, mm -hmm. but which gives that the nice citrus. Right. right. Oh yeah, that's wonderful. And I don't know if I said it or not, but ABV is seven point five. Mm -hmm. So it's so it's good and dangerous. Right. That's right. That's right. And I'm not sure it drinks as a big beer. It kind of goes down no. too smooth. Right. I mean, not too smooth. It goes down very smooth, which is dangerous for a 7.5% ABV. Mm -hmm. So it's a good thing it comes in the 500 milliliter bottles. Not the big. That's right. Big and big only in these bottles. Right. And if you caught what I said, it was originally a kind of a one off local series honoring local, you know, for Riverbend Mall House. And, River now, Bend. and now it's always on their local, it's always good. going to be one of their bottle products. So we think this nice. is a, another home run for Walt and Luke and the guys at Wicked Weed. Yep. So for Dave and Glenn, this is Dency Beer Guys reminding you to drink local right here when in Asheville, make a stop with the weed. Yep. And they're available everywhere, widely distributed. Get your own wiki weed. You'll enjoy this one. Yep. Drink local and keep your beer dollars in North Carolina.